humans. I hope you're all having a wonderful jet of a day. Today I am doing a Jackie Kennedy, Natalie Portman makeup tutorial. Now this film is already out in the US, but it doesn't come out in the UK until the 20th of January. Now this is my second video in my trailer makeup series. So basically I do a video on the trailer makeup because I haven't seen the film yet. And then I'm gonna do a longer one once the film has come out. So without any more ado, let us get into the makeup look. Okay, so I'm just going to start out with my Maybelline color tattoo in Creme de Nude. And then to set it, I'm just going in with my Makeup Revolution Redemption Palette in Essential Mattes 2, and I'm just going to go in with this shade here. Okay, and although there wasn't really much at all on her eyelids, it was pretty much bare, I'm just going to go in with a slight, slight color. I'm just going in with my Makeup Revolution Blush Palette in Blush Queen. I'm just gonna use this shade here because I did notice a slight, slight pink, almost shimmery color at times, not the whole time, but like in some of the trailers, I noticed a little bit of a slight pink tinge to it. So I'm just gonna really, really lightly just put that all over the lid. And this adds a little bit of color back into it as well, so it stops it from being just completely unnatural naturally perfect. It kind of makes it a little bit more skin toned. Okay, and then to just add some definition back into the crease, I'm going to go in with this shade from that same palette. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and just look straight ahead in the mirror and just fill in where my crease naturally lies. Okay, now for liner, now she wasn't wearing a lot of liner at all. It was pretty much just on the base of the lashes and it was only on the outer two thirds, but it definitely was there. So I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Superliner Perfect Slim Eyeliner. I'm just gonna put it on the outer two thirds of my eyes just to kind of add to that lash line and sort of add depth a little bit. And this almost kind of gives you the impression of false lashes, which I don't think she was wearing. She could have been wearing a couple of individual lashes on the outer corners, but this kind of gives you the impression of sort of having more lashes than you actually do. Okay, and then I really want quite a matte look, so I'm just going to go in with this shade from that same palette and I'm just going to put that right over the top. mascara I'm going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I'm really going to focus it on the outer corners because it was quite pronounced that sort of flick at the outer corner and this kind of helps to give you more of an almond shaped eye as well. Okay moving on to the face I'm just going to first go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. And then I'm just going to color correct using my Sleek Color Correcting Palette. Okay, for foundation, now this was quite a pale look I noticed. In some of the shots she looked really, really ghostly. So I'm just going to go in with a slightly paler foundation than I usually would go for. So this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation and this is in 2N and usually I'm in 3N. I mean, this still pretty much does match me, but this is kind of when I want to be a little bit paler. And then for concealer, I'm just going in with my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer. powder I'm just going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm really going to pack it on because this is a very 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 matte look. Okay, moving on to contour. Now this was quite interesting to me because in films they don't tend to contour too, too much. Just like highlighted, they don't really tend to highlight or contour too much. They do, but it's very, very unnoticeable. However, this look was very, very contoured. I'm not sure if that's just Natalie Portman. I mean, she has an amazing, amazing bone structure anyway. So I think that definitely contributed to it. But I think she was fairly contoured as well as that. So I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro HD Contour Palette. And I'm just gonna use these two shades here. And I'm also going to use this Real Techniques brush. Now usually I use a Zoeva contour brush which is kind of more feathery and fan like it kind of it's not as harsh so this is definitely a more precise harsh contour which is what I want for this look but generally for real life this isn't as good because it's quite obvious but obviously for film makeup and for camera makeup it's quite different so that's what I'm going to be using. 
I'm also going to kind of put it slightly down here as well because in some of the shots it was really, really, really noticeable. I literally just think that's her bone structure, but seeing as I'm doing Natalie Portman playing Jackie O instead of just Jackie's makeup, I want to kind of mimic her bone structure a little bit. I mean, I'm not doing a full on like transformation or anything, but I like to kind of replicate it as much as I can. Okay, and then I'm just going to contour my nose. And this was also extremely pronounced. So I'm really going to chisel out my nose, which I thought was kind of funny because Jackie Kennedy has a very wide nose. So I thought it was kind of strange how they contoured it so much. I mean, like I said, it could just be Natalie Portman's face because she has an amazing bone structure. I'm not really sure, but it looked very contoured to me. My hair is going crazy today. It's so dry at the moment. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, for blush, I'm going to go in with a little bit of an old favorite. This is the Revlon Blush in Why Not. And this is extremely pigmented, so just be really, really careful with this. You cannot put too much on. So I'm just going to kind of build it up on my cheeks. Not too, too much. In film makeup, they tend to alternate between different versions of the same makeup look. And in some versions, she was wearing a lot of blush. In other versions, she wasn't wearing any at all. So I'm just gonna kind of go a bit in between. Okay, onto brows. Now this was a very, very natural brow look, but at the same time, it was very, very dark. So basically, I'm just gonna brush them naturally, but I'm gonna fill them in quite dark. So I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline The Nudes palette, and I'm just going to use this shade here. I just broke my spoolie. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna brush them up and then just kind of brush the top to the side, moving my curtain out of the way. I don't wanna make this too perfect because they were quite unruly. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that same sort of skin tone that I used on my eyes and just put that on my brow bone. And then she wasn't wearing anything much at all underneath her eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with a tiny, tiny bit of that transition shade I used in my crease just to finish it off. And I'm not gonna go in with any mascara or anything. I'm just gonna kind of leave it like that. So that is the eyes done. Okay, finally the lips. I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Pink Punch Color Sensational Lipstick. And that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I do film and celebrity makeup tutorials. Also comment down below if you like the look and what you would like to see next. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.